Hi and welcome to the Rolling Studio. I'm back. Um, today I'm going to work on my Dollar Tree uh, glass domes that I showed you in my last video. And this time I'm going to do some creative uh, background backing. Last time I did a basic where I just took my papers that I had and that I wanted to use my supplies and uh, that's what I did and I just took images and glued them down pretty basic situation this time I wanted to uh, do some creative uh, backgrounds of my own and I'm sure you can do this with jelly plating you can do it with paint you could do it with marker you could do it with any kind of uh, well ink of any kind and this time I chose some foil paper for my substrate and then I'm going to do a series of different acrylics and today I have picked out uh, for my foil I have picked out um, I just got these full sheets from the dollar store and I picked out my folk art acrylic paint and uh, the first set that I'm going to show you after I get this foil uh, crunched up a little bit and then straightened out and I'm gonna cut it up into pieces and that will be my little palettes that I'm creating. I'm creating some foil, uh, foil palettes. Um, don't over crunch. Uh, you can brayer it down if you want to. I just use my hands, wasn't that important. And uh, then I took my color shift paints and did that on the foil and then I matched the color shift paints on a regular piece of copy paper without it being um, gesso so there was no gesso on the copy paper and then I did another set of acrylic uh, metallics by folk art and on the foil and then I copied that and did the same thing with the copy paper as well and and did a a match set of, of uh, copy paper without gesso I then also had uh, my metallics of um, my metal metallics so then I did metal metallics on my foil and then I match copied it onto my ungessoed paper and after that is a surprise and I'll tell you in just a minute but for now you can see that the paper was not gessoed this is regular copy paper I used my color shift paints and I just kind of did a mosaic if you would of color on my paper just created a, a mosaic if you will uh, of paint <coughs> acrylic paint on my copy paper no rhyme or reason just threw it on there any way I could get it on there and that's what I did I just did it on foil and then I matched it to paper and that's the way I did all of my acrylics tonight and I thought it'd be fun just to create my own background uh, and my own style um, for doing these glass domes I had a lot of fun with printed images I mean you can't go wrong with beautiful images but you also can't go wrong with doing your own thing chicken wing do your own thing that's what I love to do this is an out-of-the-box creation thinking and this is the way I like to be and I thought it would just be fun to do this in foil and in paper and I just I really enjoyed it and you guys have got to try it and you know you can build a quick collection of embellishments and I'm going to show you later after I get done with all my creative domes is I'm going to make a lot of them I have promised myself to start using my supplies and to make some bulk product and that's what I'm gonna do and that's what I'm doing and that's what I'm showing you but once I get these done, I also want to do some creative encasing. Uh, whether that be in jewelry, whether it be in journals, whether it be in tags, whether it be, you know, on something. A, a box, you know, a cigar box or a treasure box or, or whatnot. I mean, this is what you can use these for. And I have some plans 
to play around with some of these once I get all the different creative ways that I can think of to do these. And I'm running out of uh, glass domes so fast. I mean, who knew that 12 bags would go so fast? Actually, I gave two bags away to my friend Janie, so I only have 10 bags now. But hey, that's a lot still. You know, that's a lot. And uh, this here is where you're seeing me do the metallic, and now I'm doing the metallic on paper. I had a, I had a lot of fun doing it on the paper. The paper one was one of my favorites, and I can't wait to use it either. Um, because I painted it, and I did it almost like uh, a meshed metals, and I just loved using the gun metal to break up some of the other uh, coppers and antique coppers and golds and pure golds and the rose golds. It, that black gunmetal really popped out my paper and I loved it. So you ought to try it if you don't have them. These are the cheapest paints you can buy and they're gonna go a long way. A little bit goes a long way and it's economic. And who doesn't want economic? I do, I love economic. I do not have to have all the you know, high dollar name brand stuff. I've never been a name brander. If I can get them occasionally, great. But I am more of the frugal kind of person and I don't like to spend a lot of money. I'd like to spend a lot of money on my crafts, but I like to do my make my crafts fairly inexpensive. That way I can get more for my buck. <laughs> more bang for the buck, isn't that what we, we, we say? So I'm blinging these out and here, after I get my table clean is my final one and I'm so excited about this one and I hope you like it too. It is fantastic and it is so much fun. Okay, so I'm gonna take my final piece of foil and if you remember from the last video, I created uh, some rust paste and patina paste again I have a video on it watch that last video I will put it in the I card and at the end of this video if I can or down in the description box whichever I'll make sure that that uh, video is there you can also follow the links to that video for the recipe or you can just wing it and uh, make your own but I am doing a rust paste and patina foil Excuse me. OMG, this was so much fun, and I think you'll love it too. And ah, oh, I love it. Wait till you see the final results with the domes. Wow, that was uh, creative and fun. Um, I used just so because I'm. Just so that you know, if I've already repeated this during the fast forward, I don't know. But uh, I may do a voiceover if I haven't already. Okay, so I used the Folk Art Color Shift. Um, starting with this one. Uh, I'm not sure where the colors are on this. And my eyes are all messed up again. Um, yeah, I don't know what color they're saying. Hmm. I'm sure it's on here, but my eyes are so dry I can't even read them. Hold on. There it is. It is... Aqua Finish. This is an Aqua Finish. Um, this one here is... Looks like it said it was red flesh. Red flash. Okay, red flash. Okay. This one is pink flash. They're just called flash. Uh, this is uh, blue flash. This is green flash. And this one here is black flash. So, uh, this one doesn't seem to really, it's got some uh, gold metallic to it as they all have some sort of a 
metallic to it. But these are the folk art color shifts that I used here on this particular foil. And then I used it also on a regular piece of paper that I did not gesso, but uh, it does have the metallic finish and I think it looks pretty cool. Not bad, not bad. So there's one set. And I'm just playing around trying to see what I can do with my paints. I, I told y'all I was gonna try to use my materials I've had these forever, so I needed to try and use them for the first time. So these are the first times I'm using them. Uh, this one here are my folk art uh, metallics. The other one was uh, color shift. This is a metallic. This one here is sapphire, blue sapphire. I used uh, white, pearl white. I used um, the metallic, well it's purple for sure, but amethyst, it's called the amethyst, and I also used this metallic, what is this one, bright red, so bright red, Pearl, amethyst, and blue sapphire are these ones. And then I went kind of cray cray on my metallic metals. These are still not dry on this one because they're kind of thick. I, I did it kind of thick because I put out a lot of paint and I didn't want to waste it. But we have rose gold. Let's see if we can do this. Gun metal, or uh, yeah, gun metal. Gun metal. These are all folk art metallics. Uh, the rose gold, which is this one. Um, we've got chocolate brown metallic, which is, I believe, this one. No, that's rose gold. Well, it's one of these two browns. I don't know. I got them mixed up. And then we also had the antique copper, which was this one actually. This is the antique copper. And then this one is the royal gold, which was the bright one here. The, well, the darker one actually. And then we had pure gold, which was the brighter of the golds. So, those are the few that I used on the paper, too. Look at the paper turned out so nice. I'm loving this metallic paper. That is so cool. I love this one. More than the others, I think. And then I needed to finish off my paint, so I kind of did a just a mixture. Made it some sort of a metallic-y color. Uh, but this one still needs to dry this one's still drying because I've got it kind of thick and then you guys oh my gosh look at this these are my rust paste and patina paste that I made the last video and I've never put it on foil before and um, I thought it was kind of a cool idea I was just blowing out on my paint and I'm really loving this and I am going, though you can't really tell it's on foil through the thickness of it, but it does peek through in some areas. But once this completely dries, oh my gosh, we can do all kinds of stuff with this foil. Um, and we'll, I'll probably do more of these on bigger sheets. I love the brick red. By the way, the brick red that I had made that I wanted to use for making what looked like bricks or brick red color actually created a better rust tone in here so I'm really glad I used it because it really brought that rusty uh, tint out and I love that I just love that so these two need to dry but these two are my favorites these are my favorites 
but um, while I'm here and recording I'm gonna let those continue to dry and then I'm going to um, for fun I'm going to put this color shift uh, foil down I'm gonna go ahead and bust out my uh, Dollar Tree glass gems and I'm gonna do a couple of rounds of my hand painted foil paper and paper um, and just see how this looks so let's just see how this is gonna look oh man I think I'm gonna like that let me zoom in on that let me zoom in sweet I want to get some of that multicolor in there I like that so I'm gonna glue some of these down in fast forward and uh, I'll be back boom just like that I have some awesome embellishments oh man I can't wait for these to dry so I can cut them out I'm probably actually going to let these ones dry and that was two bags right there or was it three I, could, I lost count but either way Wow, wow, wow. These are going to be gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. Um, I want to try. I know it's not dry, especially being on foil and all. But I would like to just separate a couple of these. Just to kind of get a good visual on what we're going to have. On an individual mark I know they're not dry that's okay this is my forte it's what I do I'm impatient <laughs> that's what I do but look at that gorgeousness foil color shift paint by folk art full foiled backing and I had mentioned just for fun let me cut this one out too it's just looking at me take those off these are going to be magnificent creative glass dome embellishments look super cool super sweet and I've got some other ideas uh, for another video maybe if it works just to put some inclusions in there uh, as well I don't know what substrate I'll use if it'll be foil or these papers that I made um, it may be the color shift papers um, I didn't even glue any of the papers down I just wanted to play with the foil tonight so those are gonna be super cool and while I'm thinking about it I found my my metallic deco color uh, markers 
Um, these are, I haven't opened one, but this is what it looks like. I believe I got this from Hobby Lobby or Michaels, can't remember which. But it's the Deco Color Premium, the, shi the Shiny Metal Paint Marker, and it's for most surfaces, and it produces a rich silver leaf. And I also have a gold one for a gold leaf. So I'm going to just do a test run with you guys. I'm going to do the gold. This one's pretty empty. I, oh, no, there it is. It may be empty. I don't know. We'll see. But I'm going to shake it up really well. I'm sorry about my voice, guys. You, I am so tired. I want to just see if I can gold plate these around the edges and it looks like I'll be able to um, it casts a shadow though um, I'm not sure I want to do that I kind of like the light getting through to it but if you use this in jewelry I was mentioned in jewelry last time which I might turn some of these into some jewelry but uh, I must first let them dry before I make a mess. It looks like I'm moving it around a little. That's all right. We'll manage. It's just a test. And I have so many, it really doesn't matter. I would definitely suggest these dry first, but um, because I moved that foil on the back. I sure did. So, let yours dry. As usual, I'm impatient and I wanted to try. You can do a little silver leafing or gold leafing on the edge. And I don't know how long these will take to dry. But, uh, I would suggest letting them dry. Though I'm gonna play while it's wet. Just because I can. Okay, so that is what it looks like. Let me just zoom in here, be easier. That way the light can hit it. There we go, look at that. Here was the other one. So you can get a real good look. Here is uh, gold leafing the side with my deco pen. And look at this beauty. This one's got a chip in it, but that's okay. I'm gonna silver leaf this side. Or attempt to. without trying to mess up the foil. Again, do this when it's dry. I'm just testing the waters here. But that's okay. Even if you don't want to paint them, you do not have to. I was thinking for jewelry purposes in the future. But uh, there you go. It's not the best job. But it's also wet. <laughs> but there you go. Um, I also have some future ideas on encasing these. And I will bring you a video for that later down the line. I'm just trying to stick with a theme on, on a series type thing right now. Even though I'm supposed to be finishing up some other paper series. Um... I think this kind of falls in line anyway. But there you go. Foiled embellishments. Um, I'm going to also use these other ones. These other blank foils that I haven't used. Probably in the next video with some alcohol inks. Um, but I, I had the color shifts and the, the paints out. And I haven't dug out my alcohol inks yet. 
So I thought, why not just go ahead and use paints? I'm sure the alcohol inks will be super cool as well, but this is what I had out. So this is what I played with. And like I said, I'm gonna need a treasure box, you guys, for all of these. Look at all those beauties. They're awesome, man. I love them. And listen, I know I'm not on here much, but I do try to bring you guys some inspiration. And if you felt that I have brought you some inspiration, you know, give me a shout out. Tag me if you're trying some of these. Um, leave me a comment down below. Subscribe to my channel. Help me get to my thousand. And then, after all that, go to my Facebook group, Out of the Box Creations, a Roland Studio uh, affiliate, and post your pictures of these. And if you don't, that's okay. But uh, it would be nice to for you guys to share with me what you're up to. And even if it's not even in any of my projects, um, post your stuff there anyway on Facebook. That again will be in the link uh, description box below my Facebook group is Out of the Box Creations, a Roland Studio affiliate. I'm quite absent in there myself, so you know, I know it can be boring, and I'm sorry for that. But I'm a working girl, so my options are limited. And then my favorite right here is the rust ones omg look at my rust my rust and patina embellishments are coming going to be amazingly cool look at that oh man i'm loving this can't wait to cut them out and i can't wait to see what you guys are doing if you're not doing it you should try it it's actually a lot of fun uh, i'm i'm really enjoying doing this but I'm making bulk. I'm finally making bulk and that's what I want to do um, because I want to do some future projects with some embellishments and other things that I plan to make and do it uh, do a whole bunch of bulk and then I'll show you how I use them okay and how I'm planning to encase some of these and I may even uh, drop some jewelry in on these I don't know yet but uh, if you like this again comment subscribe join my facebook group post your pictures give me a shout out if you do a video give me a shout out i appreciate any and all things and uh i hope you're staying safe god bless you have a blessed evening day morning noon night and i will talk to you guys later have a great day bye and give me a thumbs up thanks bye